I present to you Rio de Janeiro. Welcome to Max Takes on the World. And this is my first day in Rio. I'm so excited. I've wanted to come to Rio de Janeiro since I was like a little kid. And I'm finally here. And I can show you guys around today. You can explore the city together. And then later, I'll give you an apartment tour. I'll show you where I'm staying at. But first, I try to stay in good shape while I'm traveling. So let's hit the beach for a run. world famous coca cabana beach and it's a little bit cloudy out but it's still gorgeous and it's time to get that workout in Um, always good to get a workout in heading back to the place now get ready to explore Rio a little bit more but one thing I want to show you guys is uh, there's these favelas behind me you can see these favelas up in the hills here you know uh, in America the rich people live in the hills here in Brazil it's the opposite the, the lower class or poverty really lives in the hill hills and the richer people live down here I'll give you guys an apartment tour we'll start here I'm walking up to the outside of my building. So I'm staying in the Coca Cabana area of Rio, which is the beach area, as you saw. I'm about like five minutes walking distance from the beach. So it's nice. It's very central, centrally located, close to everything. These are the weirdest elevators to me. You just pull the door open like this and enter. I'm used to having that uh, American elevator where you just the door just slides open and boom, you're in. Sometimes I almost forget the elevator is uh, there because it doesn't make a noise. You just have to watch for the numbers to know the elevator is here. Welcome to my crib. It's your boy, Max Takes on the World, here in Rio. <laughs> Man, I love NTV cribs, but here, let's check out the apartment. So I'll show you here. We have the bathroom in here. Uh, Nice little bathroom, has a little washroom machine right here. If you know what this thing is, leave a, leave a comment down below if you know what this is. I was trying to wash my feet with it. <laughs> and over here we have the kitchen. Let's see what I have in the fridge, see how I live. Boom, I did a little bit of grocery shopping when I got here. Has the microwave, blenders, this Airbnb, it's really good, it has uh, the basic necessities. Have the TV here, which is in Portuguese, so I don't watch. We have my uh, my bed, and I'm really in love with these mirrors, like such good lighting in here too. And uh, my closet space right over here. Here, I don't think I'll ever eat here, but this looks like, you know, a little kitchen table. And last but not least, we have my workspace over here. And yeah, this is how I'm living in Rio for the next couple of uh, weeks. I guess, yeah, I'll be here a month. And I have a travel series planned out. I'm excited to show you guys. I'm going to be going to a favela. I have a lot of stuff planned. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate your support. Now it's time to get changed and see the rest of Rio. I'm ready for Sugarloaf Mountain. It's one of the, like the top attractions here in Rio. I hear there's monkeys on the hike up there, so so I got some bananas to you know see if I can feed a monkey. Hopefully I can, and it won't attack me. Pray for me, guys. This is where we're hiking to this mountain up here, and then we're gonna take a cable car to Sugarloaf Mountain right here. I have a tip. They say that you 
shouldn't hike alone in Rio, but Sugarloaf Mountain is in a military area, so it's safe to walk alone here, but most hikes in Rio, you probably don't want to walk alone just for safety reasons. I see a lot of military people walking around, a lot of men in uniform, so it definitely feels very, very safe doing this hike solo. Views are just absolutely gorgeous. You know, there's an option to take a cable car up to Sugarloaf Mountain the whole way, but I'm choosing to uh, walk halfway and then catch a cable car at the other half. And I really, really recommend just doing the uh, walking then the cable car because this is just gorgeous. A disregard everything I just said about, you know, taking the hike and yeah, I am hiking but I got lost, I can't quite find the entrance. It was still gorgeous, but now I'm gonna head back to the cable cars. Oh, A spontaneous tattoo. I haven't gotten a tattoo in a while, but I'm in Rio. This is Christ the Redeemer, which is a, a very famous statue here, not even just here, just worldwide. And I'm a Christian, so it just makes sense. Oh, we're finished. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Christ, the Redeemer. Tattoo stop real quick. We still have to catch the second trolley to go to the top of Sugarloaf Mountain. But first, let's take in these views. Wow, we are high up. You can see all of Rio from here. This is insane. I know I keep mentioning these views are insane, but literally, I, I don't think I've seen anything like this. Yep, that's fair to say. Sugarloaf Mountain is one of the most incredible things I've seen in my life. I said that, and that is a fact. But Sugarloaf Mountain, it was real. I feel like I'm definitely going to come back and visit this while I'm here in Rio. Today was a little bit cloudy, so I got to see the views, but I could only imagine it on a clear day. It was uh, cloudy today, but on a clear day, it has to be even more gorgeous. So I want to come back. I'm at the top of the JW Marriott Hotel, uh, and right across the street is a very, very good view of the Coca Cabana Beach. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Rio de Janeiro. Hey, it's been such a long day. We did a lot today. Um, this is just the beginning. I have a whole month here in Rio. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I have so much more content coming out. As you could see how gorgeous Rio is, all we saw was views today. So smash that like button, click that subscribe button, and until next time, fight on.